Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Can a part-time relationship lead to long-term happiness? Are you okay being in a part-time relationship? Or does it feel very unbalanced to you? There are a couple things that you should ask yourself if you feel that you're settling in a place that you're not really content in. And some people think that it's okay to be in these sort of short-term relationships because they feel that they're going to expand into a bigger scenario. But that isn't always the case. And this is why it's so important to clarify this early on. Because so many times you're in a relationship for a month, maybe two months, maybe three months, and then all of a sudden you realize, mm, yeah, I'm just part-time to this person. It's way too casual for what I'm looking for. Here's a few things to ask yourself. Are you okay being in a casual relationship at the moment, but you really would like to see them more often? Do you feel nervous about bringing the conversation up for fear of scaring them off? Thirdly, are you shortchanging your own happiness just to see what will transpire? You're holding on for a good situation down the road. Or are you sacrificing what you really want in a partnership because you don't want to come across as aggressive or too intense too early on. It's okay to have a few expectations in a new relationship. You want to know that you're the priority in their life and that you're going somewhere. There's a connection. There's something to build on. The last thing you want to figure out is at the end of the day that they're just there for a good time, not a long time. You should never have to take a back seat or appease any situation that you're in because you're afraid of losing them. If you're have a fear at this point and this is kind of taking over your thoughts then you have to say to yourself that you're probably in the wrong relationship because when things are going smoothly they do flow there isn't this sort of nervous tension or anxiety that pops up all the time and you're wondering when you're going to see them again you don't want to have that with somebody who is committed to you you will know they're committed to you because you don't have all these outside feelings popping up all the time. This is what you definitely want to avoid. Any type of anxiousness or, or fear around somebody that you're dating, it's not a good fit. And those are your instincts telling you that maybe this needs to end. This ne You need to go somewhere else and find a different type of love. The last thing you want is to be in a lopsided relationship where you're the one that's doing all the compromising. You want it to be on equal footing. You're both giving and you're both getting something back. That's the way a true relationship is when it's healthy. It is always important to have boundaries in any relationship. And if it's going in the right direction, you'll be on the same page with each other. You'll have no problem communicating what it is you want, what it is you need going forward in any of your relationships. This is something that should always be a priority when you are deciding whether you're going to spend time with someone. There shouldn't be a ton of things you have to figure out. And I think this is where people think, well, relationships are a lot of work and this is what happens and you have to take the good with the bad. Well, absolutely that's correct, but it shouldn't be at the point at your expense where you're the one always trying to figure out why are things always questionable? Why are they not just going smoothly? When you're on the right track with somebody, they are smooth. If you're always going apart and every time you wake up in the morning, you're wondering, where are we today? What's going to happen moving forward? I don't feel this huge connection. You're going to be at a loss all the time because you're not really listening to what your instincts are trying to tell you. If you're always second guessing where you stand with someone, you really have to sit down and question yourself why you want to commit to this person. Because that's not what love is. Love is not a guessing game. Love is about communication, expressing what's going on in your mind, whether it's good or bad. Sometimes things aren't going smoothly and you have to talk about it. It doesn't mean that you can't get past it. But if you're always anxious about your partner, you wake up every day wondering what's going to go on this day, you're with somebody that's just not the right fit for you. It is always important to speak up. You have every right to know your partner's ulterior motives, 
what they want for the future. Do they want a commitment? Do they want things just to be casual? It is up to you to figure this out and not sit back and wait after six months or a year and find out that that's, you're not on the same page with what you want. If you find yourself making excuses to other people, your friends, your family, about why you're in a part-time relationship, then you probably know that you're not in the best place you could be. Because when you talk about your partner to anybody that's important to you in your life, you should know what it is that you want with them and what is actually going on. Of course, it's different if you're in a long distance relationship. You're not going to see them all the time and it does become a part time situation. But you also have to pay attention to that as well, because some people choose to be in a part time long distance relationship because there isn't a, you know, 24 seven commitment. They have a lot of space. And some people look for these type of relationships so they don't have to make that commitment. If you're ever in doubt about where you stand with somebody, ask them. There's nothing wrong with speaking up and putting out your, your questions to somebody. This is important for you to know because a lot of times people will just go along and if they're not being asked the questions, they'll continue to do it. If you draw attention to it and say, I'm looking for a partnership. Is that what you're into? And they say, well, I just want a casual relationship right now. I'm not quite ready. If they're not ready, please listen to them. They are telling you the truth. Don't think you can go in and change them to be in a marital or long-term type of situation. Because first of all, that's not your place to do that. And second of all, if they want to be there, there won't be all these questions, as I mentioned before. Please listen, watch, and pay close attention to what happens in those initial dates. Those are the most important times that you, you spend with somebody because it's the stepping stone to having a foundation with somebody. And if it's not there, don't pretend it is. Make sure that it's there before you start committing yourself and putting a lot of time and energy into somebody who's not on board with what you are looking for. The bottom line here in today's video, if you want a long-term committed partnership, don't settle for anything less. That's the most important thing. It's not about how many people that come into your life. It's about what you learn each time somebody comes into your life. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments you have under the video and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much everyone. Bye.